Hello and welcome to Season 1 Part 4 of The Head Coach. My name's Daniel and this is an episode we can very much look forward to as we're playing my beloved Luton at home in a money-spinning FA Cup tights. On a Friday night, it's on TV. It's going to be a great moment. But before all that, we've got a game in the Vanarama National League South against Braintree. So, since you were last with us, things have been going quite well again. So, the last time you were here, we had played against Darlington in the first tie of the FA Cup here. Since then, we won the replay and nicked a very lucky win in the fourth qualifying round against Eastleigh to get our big tie against Luton. In the league, we struggled against Dartford, again coincided with Lubacic being on international duty. But we've won the three games since in games against teams expected to be down the bottom of the league, including Oxford and Chippenham, who are the bottom two at present. In other news, our director of football has made one forced change. So our backup goalkeeper, Lewis Boughton, who was absolutely awful, has again gone to Slough. I don't know what it is with them and our players. And he's had to replace him with another young backup keeper, again on non-contract terms, and his name is Dan Farrell, with two-star ability, four-star potential, very much the backup to Lincoln at the moment but is much better than Boughton was before, so at least we've got an able deputy should he be needed. The last thing we need to look at is the league table to see how we've been doing, and we're actually sitting pretty up in fourth at the moment, and perhaps more interestingly, we've got an eight-point cushion now back to eighth place East Thurrock, and an even bigger cushion down to the bottom half where we were expected to finish. Without further ado, let's get into that game. Starting today's game, we've got Lincoln in goal, Davis, Field, Elabt and Campbell at the back, Moit, Widrington, Tuck and Meldrum in midfield and Pierce and Sicard are up front. Unfortunately, Lubacic is just coming back from injury and hasn't quite made this one. And we've also rotated a couple of others, Wood and Block, most importantly, ahead of our cup tie on Saturday. Or Friday, sorry, I should say. Let's get into this one and see how we get on. Again, we're against a 4-4-2, which we have done quite well against most times. And again, we want to pick up where we last left off. So let's get going then. Let's just check all our settings are right on this new one. Have they carried over? They have. Hopefully, we can pick up a win in this game. We've got the early possession with Lincoln at the back, and he's cleared long but comes to nothing, and the highlight ends. Things are looking rather good for us at the moment. Meldrum in particular on the wing. He's been playing left or right depending on injuries. has been a star man. He's had assists in nearly every game since you've last been with us. Ollie Pierce has still been banging in the goals for fun. And Sikaja, despite not being able to head the ball, has done quite well in that attacking role as a target man. And Moit crosses in here. It's clear to Tuck. Went for an ambitious volley, but that has gone miles wide. You can see Braintree have seemed to have a few more people in their ground than we manage. They are traditionally one of the bigger clubs in the league. And in real life, of course, got promoted last season and are in the National League now. So it's going to be a bit of a tough test for us. But based on the forming game, I think we might have a chance. Here they come on the attack again. We're camped back with those two banks of four. But they've got it wide again and Davis heads away. But it's only fallen to them again and they keep coming at us. But we keep defending well. The two blocks of four and our defensive shape has been really good. It's really impressed me, actually. Normally in this game, I struggle to find a defensive mode for the first few months. But here we seem to be fairly solid and don't concede many goals, as you saw from the scheduler at the start. But they have had another shot which has gone over the bar. No shots on target yet in this game. Not a surprise, really. We have had a few defensive starts and normally grown into games. But the long ball from the goalkeeper doesn't work this time. Here they come again, building another attack. And we seem to be struggling a bit here. Again, any team that have got good wide players seem to be the ones that cause us problems. And luckily we've managed to get this one clear with Elabd. Hopefully goes for the old long route, which we love so much. But it's gone to no one. You can see the difference without Lubacic and the team. The ball just doesn't stick up top. Generally, when he hasn't played, we've had less than 40% possession every time. The difference he makes is huge. And I'm hoping the director of football will extend his loan after this season. Or at least sign us a backup. So we've got another target man in the squad. Which he just seems to be quite inactive at the moment. Despite having a huge amount of the wage bill left. Over a thousand a week. If you bear in mind our best player Lincoln's on £300 a week. He could get three top class. Probably National League standard players for that rate. If we were doing the transfers. Or at least five or six squad players to help cover us out a bit. I'd rather him buy three good players to be honest. But not my choice again in the head coach. We're only coaching the team, we're only picking the team, we're only dealing with the tactics. We are not doing the transfers, no contracts, no nothing. Campbell clears away, can we build an attack from here? Of course not, it's bouncing straight back today. 
Braintree do look the better side to be honest so I wouldn't be surprised if they were to take the lead in this game they've got it wide again they've had a lot of possession down that right flank it has been causing us a little bit of trouble but half an hour in it's still nil nil and we've had the only shot on target so we can't really complain like usual we've looked fairly solid the only worry this time is that the ball's been bouncing back a lot more but here goes our old-fashioned long ball through to Sakaja and it's been tipped behind by the keeper unfortunately We've got a corner. We have been quite good from set pieces this season, but we haven't got Swallow taking them due to injury. So it's Meldrum in. It's cleared away to Moit. Gets the ball back into the box, but Tuck's been challenged, but he's won it back. But he's going the wrong way, but luckily the ref's given a foul. I think he was lucky to get away with that one, to be honest. Free kick here about 30 yards out. Widrington will take. I don't think he'll shoot from here. Oh, he did try to shoot, but it's gone out for a throw off the wall. 10 minutes to half time. Things are looking good. We're starting to get on top in the game and hopefully it's just a matter of time before we can build an attack that leads to the first goal. Unfortunately, it has remained the case really that centre midfield's been our weak spot. We haven't been able to take control of the game. Let's take our assistant manager's advice. I've missed it and I've gone on to Walford. What a disaster. Let's go and get that advice in before half time. But yeah, we have been struggling in central midfield. Tuck and Widrington aren't the greatest of players. Even Block as a youngster, he's improving a little bit but He's not able to take control of games and we're getting outplayed in the middle. Luckily our wide men and strikers have been so effective this season. But it is half time. It's nil nil. They haven't had a shot on target. And again, to be honest, we'll probably take this result at the end if it's to get finished this way. Let's give them a bit of encouragement. They've been doing all right. We can't complain. Most teams in this league would take it if they didn't have a shot on target against them in the whole game. Pierce with the kickoff to Alabs. Are we going to go for the old long ball special? Oh no, he's lost it straight from the kickoff field, but luckily they've Gone for a haphazard shot from 25 yards, but that is awful defending. And probably the first time we've seen a real mistake like that in one of these games. Here's Widrington to Sakaja. Can we build a counter-attack again? It's very slow building out to Meldrum on the left, who's come past the halfway line. He goes for the long ball, but it's cleared away with Gabriel, but he's won it back from Pierce. And Moit down to Pierce again. Can he get the ball across the box? It's gone over over Sakaja's head to Meldrum. Back into Pierce, and there we go. It is 1-0. Ollie Pierce, as usual, is the man with the goal. And as we spoke about at the start of the episode, Ross Meldrum with yet another assist. Doesn't seem to matter what flank he's on, he's always providing goals for us. And he has turned out to be a brilliant signing by the director of football. So we have to give him a bit of credit there. Five minutes into the second half, 1-0 up. Just what we wanted and hopefully we can be as solid as we have in most of the other games so far as we seem to be building a quite a surprise promotion challenge at the moment. We have closed the gap to the top of the league. I'm trying not to get too carried away because I know it's only a matter of time before three or four injuries and we fall apart. The director of football doesn't look like he'd sign someone if we got six or seven. Here's Meldrum again into Pierce and it's headed away. Widrington on the follow-up. What a goal that is. He spanked it from 25 yards and it's gone in the top corner. We were not expecting that. We haven't seen anything of that sort of quality from him so far this season, but I will not be complaining. But again, the goal comes from across down the left to Meldrum. Ollie Pierce lost out this time, but from the edge of the box, Widrington with a great goal. And with an hour gone, it looks like we're in control of this game now. And things are going rather well. And as I was saying, this promotion pussy's on. You can see, look, I know Chelmsford have got a game in hand, but as it stands, we're just a point off the top of the league. And the cushion to the bottom of the playoffs is brilliant. And hopefully, even if we don't get promoted or don't manage to stay in the playoffs, if we can finish above our mid-table target, we'll start to attract some interest from the conference, the National League, sorry, or even League Two, maybe. Maybe even looking across to somewhere like Scotland in the Championship for one of the bigger teams. Here we go with the corner again. Meldrum is headed away and Moit's got the ball out 30 yards. Can't have two shots from the long range. Can we go in in this game? Meldrum's cross is cleared. And it's about time we make our first substitution, I think. Just before we'll let this attack go. Davis to Moit, back to Davis. Widrington, Sakar just got it on the right and he shoots, but it's wide. Let's make our first couple of subs then, see who we've got to go. Doug Tuck again, not the best from him so far. We're going to bring on James Crane. I'm trying to rest block because he's a bit low on conditioning and we want him fit for the FA Cup tie. He has been good for us this season, so it's only fair. And who else are we going to look at? We're going to take Sicardra out to the right for Moit because he's not had the best of games and he's the least fit in the team at the moment. And we'll bring on Sirachi up front. Don't think we've seen him yet on camera, but he did have one game where he scored a brace when Lubacic was on international duty. Again, like all the other strikers, his best role is the poacher, but he has done okay in the target man role. And we haven't really got any other options, so we'll leave him there. 
will we make our last sub now? Campbell's not had the best of games and Field struggling for fitness. I'll tell you what, I'll take Campbell off and we'll bring on Omar or White. I'll bring on White actually. We'll put Crane back to left back. So there we go, we'll make all three subs. Bit of a gamble. We normally pick up an injury, you know how it is when we do this, but 25 minutes to go, hopefully with looking comfortable. Six shots on target, there none. Things can't go wrong from here, hopefully. So Sakaja with the ball in, easy for the keeper, not the best of crosses, but to be fair to him, he never claimed to be a winger, so we won't complain. Field wins ahead from the goal kick, Widrington to White. Can we get it out to the fullbacks and build another attack? We've got Davis down the line. Pierce has got there. Sakaja. Can he find Pierce again? Get the ball across. Sirachi with the header and it's 3 0. And Sirachi again makes an impact that belies his ratings and his stats. He has done really well for us since coming in on the odd sub appearances when Lubacic has been out. He scored goals. He's performed well in the target man role again despite not being great in the air. And again, Ollie Pierce is causing chaos running off the back too. Ball in from them. They've got an attack here. Can Barrington do something for them? He seems to be going backwards, which is what we like. Hopefully it will lead to a counter-attack, but at no, he's managed to keep it. And Allen again now with the attack for Braintree. But Sakaja with the long ball on the counter-attack. Two on one could have been risky there, but unfortunately they've managed to get it clear. Crane heads away for us, but they're coming back at us now. It's looking a bit iffy for us at the back here as they keep building an attack, but they're going for these wild shots from 30, 35 yards, and they keep going high and wide, and we'll be happy to fend off them all day. Lincoln will handle it even if it comes on target, but hasn't had anything to do yet after his heroics in previous episodes. With 15 minutes to go, things are looking great. With 3-0 up, it should be a comfortable win from here. They haven't looked like scoring. Look at their defensive rating, 6.1s, 5.8s. Things have not been going well for them. Ollie Pierce is causing chaos. The Widrington goal we can't really count as a regular thing. That's just a one-off fluke. But the other two goals have come from great attacks out wide. Lincoln with a goal kick here. A few minutes to go. Long ball up to Pierce. Oh, he's gone straight over the defence and Pierce is in. And oh, he's missed a sitter. After all his good play and his good goal in this game, he has missed an absolute sitter. And it stays 3-0. Luckily, it's not going to affect us too negatively. But it would have been nice to round it off with a 4-0 win. Allen with a free kick for them, but that's high and wide again. And we're into three minutes of stoppage time, and that is just about that. What a performance, what a result, and we're up to second place as it stands. We couldn't have dreamt of that at the start of the season. And surely a big, bigger club will be coming in for us sooner rather than later at this rate. And our reputation must build quickly if people start to see what we're doing down here. That is it. It is 3-0 to Bognor Regis. We are up to second in the league and we are in real good form at the moment. I think that's four in a row in the league now. Going into our FA Cup tie against my beloved Luton Town on Friday night. And let's see what they've got to say about this performance. There we go then. So confirmation we are up to second. Let's see what they've been saying. Surely there'll be a bit of praise from the media for that one. So again, less possession, but the quality with it means a 3-0 win. And Widrington, of course, is the star man. We'll give him a bit of praise. And he's happy with that. So we'll be back in a moment after our good run of form to inevitably get beaten by my beloved Luton Town in the Cup. So here we are then for our second game against Luton in the FA Cup. Obviously, this is a big money tie for Bognor. I'd expect a big attendance. Look, 3,000 tickets sold. Our average attendance has been about 400, 500 this season. We've got Luton in town, my beloved team in real life. So let's see how we get on. The team we've got today, not too many changes. We've gone as strong as we can and we've taken a bit of a gamble with an injured Lubacic. But we've got Lincoln in goal. We've got a back four of Davis Field, Keaton Wood and Christian Campbell. Moit, Widrington, Block and Weldrum in midfield and Pearce and Lubacic up front. So Block's come back in for Doug Tuck and in defence Elabs has dropped out for Wood to come back in. Other than that, and we've got Lubacic back in up front obviously for Sikaja in his preferred target man role. So three changes, back to as close to full strength as we can be at the moment. We've only got 18 fit players and they're all in the squad. The only other player we have is our reserve goalkeeper. So let's get into it and see if we can pull off a miracle. I'm going to leave it on the standard mentality. I am going to check, tweak one tactic before the game starts though. So Luton are playing with a 4-4-2. In real life they play with a diamond so that's a bit weird. And there's definitely a central midfielder out wide there. But oh well. 
hopefully that gives us a chance. They look pretty close to full strength, which is a bit of a worry for us. I think we may be in for a hide in this game, but hopefully it won't dent the confidence too much. So again, it's the pick up where you left off. We'll follow the assistant's advice. There's one tactic we're going to tweak before we start. We're going to get them to be more disciplined in a tactical shape. We need those two banks of four and we need them working well today. For the first time, I think, since I've been here, we've got a tunnel interview. But again, weirdly, it's about the Hemel Hempstead manager. I don't know why that's coming up in this one, but again, I don't need to comment on things like that. Thought I'd get something about the tie there with the Friday night cameras here. But let's see what we can do. I'm not expecting much from this game. It's not our priority this season. We've got to this stage. We've got the big money tie. We've got the TV money. And that's what we'll be happy with. We don't need to worry about whether we're going to win or progress further. We'll just enjoy the day. We've played our first choice team because they deserve the opportunity to shine here. And we've got an early chance, but the keeper's kid might... Oh, I thought he was going for a shot there, but if he was, it didn't look like one. Here's Collins on the counter-attack and Widrington clears well. If we can keep it quiet for 20, 30 minutes, I'll be happy. The most important thing is not to lose the morale from this. So our one or two nil defeat's fine, but if we start getting to fours and fives... We could have a bit of a difficult spell afterwards. Here they come down the right again. They've crossed it in. It's been headed away, but it's only fallen to them 25 yards out. Moit's got the ball on the edge of the box and clears long to Pierce. Here's Lubacic, but not quite got that domination at this level. Obviously, in our league, he's a five-star player, according to our assistant manager. But down at this level, he's obviously not going to stand out quite as much with League 2 players. And obviously, in real life, Luton got promoted, so probably League 1 players, most of them. There's Lincoln's first big save of the game and it's out for a corner to loot and I've got a feeling he's going to have to make a few of them if we're going to keep this respectable. Davis heads the corner away but again we're camped back early on here. There's one other Friday night game going on. I see Rochdale have scored already. Wouldn't we like to get through and get another one of the big guys but I think I might be being a bit optimistic with that. But talking of that, 12 to 13 minutes in now and we're still quite settled. They've had a couple of shots on target which Lincoln's dealt with but... They haven't really been dominating too much. And again, the possession, that's probably better than we normally have in a league game at 42%. So let's see if we can keep it going. No highlights is good news for us at the moment. I know it's not particularly entertaining to watch, but the longer this happens, the better chance we've got of nicking maybe even a replay, which would be a remarkable result. There we go. It seems to just be edging away now, which is great. If we can just keep this going. But here we go. They've got a free kick now. And the ball's into the box to Dan Potts, but it's saved by Lincoln again. Comfortable this time. He hasn't had to pull off heroics yet. He's made good saves, but nothing spectacular. He's pierced to Lubacic on the counter-attack. Lubacic hasn't really got any options, and he's lost the ball again, but it's gone back to Widrington. Here's Meldrum down the left. Can he create something magical? Here's Widrington again. Tried to find Pierce, but it's been cleared away. Blocked to Widrington again, no. We're camped in their half, which will take. Meldrum to Lubacic. He's through. He scored! And we're 1-0 up against Luton. It's a bit bittersweet being a fan, but I will take that every day. If we can pull off a shock here or even give ourselves a better chance of getting a replay financially for us looking forward, hopefully it will give our director of football enough of a cushion to actually spend something then. And it will only help a surprise promotion push. With 10 minutes to go to half-time, I will take this. It's our only shot on target of the game. They will feel very hard done by having dominated, but it's the only clear-cut chance of the game. Most of their shots have come from distance or set pieces. But here they come on the attack again with Elliot Lee, and he's put a through ball, which is cleared. And it's a corner to Luton again. With five minutes to half-time, can we just hold out? If we can get to the whistle, it would be a huge achievement and give us huge confidence going into the second half. But there is Elliot Lee with a strike, but it's blocked. And Lubacic, the key man in both box at the moment... And here we go. If we can have no more highlights till half-time, I'll be a very happy man. But here we go. They're going to build another attack from here, you'd suspect. James Shea with the big goal kick out to Berry on the right. I would imagine he'll just glide past our team, but he's gone back to Shinny. Here's Downs into Elliot Lee. Jervis and he's shot, but it's wide. Again, they're shooting from range, which we'd be quite happy with. They might nick one that way, but a replay at this point would be great. If they keep building chances and get into the box, you'd only imagine they'd carve us apart. But looking at to half-time, nothing needs to be changed. We're just going to be giving encouragement galore because this is a great result so far. My only worry is Widrington's just been booked and he is struggling for fitness. And again, next to him, Moit struggling as well. But we have no complaints about that half. We probably don't deserve to be ahead. They've been by far the better side and had more of the domination. But 
we've got the goal. And that's all that matters. So into the second half, let's see if we can nick a surprise second. And if we can keep our name in the hat, we'll be more than happy. Here they go back to the keeper. Are they going to build an attack again or are they going to try and dominate possession in this half? Don't know what their tactics will be, but surely they'll be going all out attack soon. Here's Elliot Lee for them. Back to Luke Berry. Elliot Lee again, but field with the challenge again. He's having another good game in a big, big tie this one for him. And here's the long through ball to Pierce again. He's throwing goal. He shot. Oh, it's wide. It was a great chance. And every time on the counter attack, we've only had a couple, but we've looked dangerous every time. But they've got another free kick here. Shinny into Elliot Lee, who's put it wide. Again, they've gone for a long range shot. They can't be happy with the way they're playing here. They haven't had many shots from inside the area. And we've looked quite threatening on the counter attack. Ollie Pierce, even at this level, isn't looking particularly out of place. His Widrington in the middle to block, tries to go long, but it's intercepted, and now Luton will come forward on the counter-attack. Berry goes long to Elliot Lee, and he's just going to charge at us here. Collins into the box, but Campbell with the challenge, defending so well at the moment. I've never managed to side at this level who have looked so solid, and Elliot Lee again forced into a long shot, which is high and wide. I'm so happy with the way we're defending here. I haven't done anything special tactically. I haven't changed anything to normal. I knew we had a couple of good defenders, particularly in Field and Davis. But as I say that, Elliot Lee's just run through three and scored a great goal. There's some times where you just have to hold your hands up and say the quality's there because he's just run through so many players there. The finish was excellent and it's back on level terms. And I think 35 minutes is probably a bit too long to hold out for a replay. And again, the assistant manager now says close down the man who's already scored. Long kick from Lincoln, headed down, but they're back on the attack now. And we see this so often in FA Cup ties. After the first hour, it goes wrong and Widrington's going to get sent off, isn't he? Oh, I should have taken him off a few minutes ago. It's too late, though. And with 10 men, our chances in this game have just vanished. We're going to have to drop to one up front. I don't know which one to take off. Lubacic has been the better man, but he's struggling physically. I don't know what to do here. I'm a bit out of my depth. I'm going to drop Pierce in. And I'm going to take him off. Four. James Crane will bring into the midfield just so we've got the ball winner in there. And we'll leave Lubacic in the middle up front on his own and just hope that he can hold up the ball. We're not even going to go for scoring goals now. We're just going to try and get away with a draw. And see if we can get a replay at Kenilworth Road. I'm not going to change from standard because I feel like counter-attacking will just mean we'll surge men forward if we get the ball. And we haven't got the facility to do that. Here they come again with Ollie Lee this time. And that ball's gone wide. Half an hour to go. Lincoln's got a goal kick. I don't feel for our chances now. Here they come again. It's going straight through the middle. It looks like they've changed to a sort of central diamond. And I'll tell you what's happened. I've just noticed the normal formation screen I have up's disappeared. So I'm going to have to get that back in a minute. There they come on the attack again. They've definitely got four men in the middle now. Crane wins it back to Moyt and they've gone long, but we haven't got that pace in behind anymore. So let's get the formation up on the screen. Where is it? Luton, there we go. Oh, Elliot Lee again, and Lincoln makes the save. And we should see that when we come up next time. We're getting towards substitution time. I don't think Lubacic is going to last much longer, to be honest. Block's gone back to the keeper, Lincoln, who clears. And will he win the header? No, he's not even winning the headers now. So we've got to think about taking him off. It might be too late, though, because Collins is through. He's laid it into Berry And Lincoln again. The hero is back with 25 minutes to go. We're still hanging on. We're going to make another sub. We're going to bring on Sicardra up front. It means we're going to have to change our game plan. We'll just put him as an advance forward and get him to run his heart out and see if it makes any difference, even if we just get that one chance in behind on the counter. Now, normally with Moit's condition, I would take him off as well, but I'm not going to risk making the third sub yet because I feel we might need it at this point. Here we go then. Sakaja has come on, and now we're just going to look to counter-attack. They've got the four men in the middle of midfield, we can see here. So we're going to change our game plan a little bit. We're going to go to exploit the flanks out wide, and we are going to go to counter-attacking now that we've got the man on the pitch to do it. But here they come forward again. Elliot Lee, thankfully, he keeps shooting from outside the box and it's gone wide. The one time he's tried to take us on and get in the box, he scored. So I thought he would learn from that, but it seems to not be the case. Here they go again. They've got the ball in the defensive area, but it's only a matter of time before they build it into an attack. They've got Shinny in midfield here with the long ball to Collins and the space is starting to appear. He's played Elliot Lee through. And again, he's gone from long range. I don't know why he keeps trying that, but we'll take it because he's less likely to score. 
and it looks like it's a matter of time. We are camped in our own half here. Ten men struggling physically. Normally in this at this level in the league games, you see us with the better fitness of the two teams. Lincoln's made another save, but in this game, we're the ones in the 60s and low 70s. We're getting outplayed in possession. Luton are having half chances galore. They've had another one from the corner there, which Berry's put over. And I cannot see us holding out, but there will be so much praise if we do, because what a result it would be. And what a reward the replay at Luton would be. A 10,000 stadium, even if they don't sell it out and they only get a few thousand in, the gate receipts will be huge for us. Hopefully it'd be on TV again. And here they come again though, so let's not count it too soon. We're getting a bit optimistic talking about the replay with 15 minutes to go on a man down. But it's gone long, high and wide again from long range. And we look to be hanging on. I don't want to speak too soon. I'm going to make the last sub. Oh, no, I'm going to wait for the attack first because I've got a cop bad feeling about this. It's Justin with the throw. Shinny's picked it up. Edge of the box to Downs. He's gone from long range again and it's high and wide. I don't know why they keep doing that. I'm absolutely delighted they are, but I don't know why they keep trying it. Have we got anyone who can come on out wide for more? We haven't really. The only thing we can do is bring Davis forwards. He's a little bit less tired. And we're going to bring on Harvey White at right back. He's a more naturally defensive-minded player. Not as good, mind you, and I don't know what I've done there. Let's try that again, shall we? So, Moit's going to come off, and Harvey White is going to come on at right back. That's it then, with eight minutes to go, we're clinging on for dear life, and we are going all out defence now. We've got a right back in right midfield, a centre half in central midfield, and one up top. Luton seems to be playing more and more attacking. Shinny with the corner to Ray, and Lincoln's made the save again. But they've basically got three up front now with Berry in behind the front two. But with a minute to go, we're still going. And we're going to drop back one more now. We're going to go defensive. I would go for time wasting if I could. But it just feels like that might backfire. <laughs> there we go. Yellow car for pots. A bit of frustration maybe creeping in for them now as we go to hang on. Hopefully if we get a replay in midweek between two league games, they'll play a slightly weakened side to give us a chance. But again... <laughs> I'm speaking far too soon as they build another attack. Crane's won it back. Get rid of it. He has. But it's only fallen to Justin. Here's Downs. Edge of the box to Berry. Shots blocked and field. Clears again. He's had another good game. Shinny switches the ball out to Justin who crosses for Ollie Lee. And Lincoln again with the save. What a goalkeeper this man is. We will be a far worse side if he ever leaves. I mean, we've done so well to stumble across a team with this standard of goalkeeper. Forget him, we're in the Conference South, and he is so far above that. He could easily play for a top conference side. Field with the clearance again, and Sakaja on the break. Can he take him on? No, he's been forced wide, a bit optimistic there, but he's got the ball in straight to the keeper. That's the problem with 10 men. There's not even anyone in the box. Normally, at least Lubacic should be there, but this time, he's just crossing for argument's sake. I would much rather he'd stayed in the corner flag, but that doesn't seem to happen on this game, even on contain. Well, a minute of stoppage time to go. It looks like we might just hang on. It would be a real sucker punch if we let one in here. Sheehan's got it on the left. He crosses. Field heads away again. What a performance, that man. Meldrum, clear it. He's lost the ball, but he's got away with it as Justin puts it out for a goal kick. That looks to be just about it. It has gone. Surely it will be full time once this is taken. Lincoln's taken as long as he can. I'm surprised he hasn't had a booking yet because this has been painfully long. He has cleared the ball now and no whistle yet, but Davis flicks on for Sakaja. Could we nick it? No, it's been challenged and it's cleared away. Wood's got the ball and just hit and hope now. Just clear it. It is all over. It's one all and that is one hell of a result. It's our only shot on target we've scored with. Luton have had 11 and not been able to get through. Lincoln's had a good game again. And the heroics have come from Stefan Lubacic, who has scored the goal to take us into a replay. Definitely an easier trip for me to Kenilworth Road for the away game. We have to praise them for that. I mean, that's a ridiculous performance. I'm surprised they're not a bit more happier. A bit more positive, even. There we go, then. One all despite a red card in the last half an hour with ten men. Holding on is very much the right description from that one. I don't know why they're taking the positives because they should have won that by a country mile. We're going to give Widrington, well we were going to give him a warning but it hasn't turned up. So that's it from this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please put a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel for regular content from this head coach series as well as other Football Manager 2018 content. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.